I need to do the test review for the upcoming test. Uh, this is on rationals. What I did is I used Desmos. I went in and grafted and I plotted some points. And just by looking at the picture, I was able to eliminate A, C. Now it was between B and D. And what I did is I plotted some points. I went ahead and plotted when X is negative one, but the Y value is negative 2.8. And when X is negative two, it's negative 1.4. So all we're doing is matching the graph. So the answer is B, I eliminated D. So for number four, problem four, what I did is I graphed the equation. What is the value of Y? What value of Y is not included in the range of the function? Well, you notice that it's all Y values except for one particular Y value, and that is negative eight. So it's never going to cross over Y equals negative eight. So it's, it's never, so Y will never be negative eight. So uh, the only answer that fits that is B. The only answer that fits that is B. And so I'm going to go ahead and circle B and I'm going to eliminate the other answers. It says Y equals negative eight is not in the range. It is not possible for the fraction and the function to have a value of zero. So Y can never be equal to negative eight. Okay, so once again, we are going to match the equation with the graph. And what I did is I used Desmos. I went ahead and graphed the equation. I went ahead and wrote down or typed in the vertical asymptote and also the horizontal asymptote. So you notice that the horizontal asymptote is negative three and the vertical asymptote is negative two or X equal negative two. So uh, let's look at A. We know that A is X equals, uh, this one's two. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals three. So that doesn't match ours because our, our vertical asymptote was x equal negative two and our horizontal asymptote was negative three. So this is not an answer. So now let's look C. We do have x equals negative two and we do have y equals negative three, which matches our asymptote. So our answer is C. B has a horizontal asymptote of three. This is y equals three, so that's not an answer. And D has a horizontal asymptote of negative three, but the vertical asymptote is x equal two, so this is wrong, this is wrong. So the only answer is C. This graph of a function is a translation of two over x. So I did graph two over x. Uh, what is the equation for this function? Well. Let's kind of look at our graph. We notice that it goes down one. So my horizontal asymptote is negative one. So horizontal asymptote is negative one. The uh, vertical asymptote is X equals six. Now remember that X equals six is gonna make the denominator zero. So any of these that make the denominator zero could be an answer. For example, if we look at A, we have, uh, if we have A, we have six here. We can put six minus six at zero. And then we have D, we have six minus six at zero. So we know that C can be an answer and B can be an answer. So if you're unsure, you can also graph it. So what I'm gonna do is type in X minus six. And there is the, uh, the shifting of the equation. It went to the right. Now we just need it to go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract one. And you notice that the horizontal asymptote is y equals negative one. It's right there. So your answer is uh, D. Plus one is going to go up. What are the points of discontinuity? So what I would do is if it's necessary, you need to go ahead and factor. So I have x minus six divided by you're going to have to factor x squared minus 8x plus 12. So the factors are x minus 6 and x minus 2. Now, what I want you to notice, we have x minus 6 and x minus 6. And that tells you, or this indicates, that there is a hole. Now, the question is, what are the points of discontinuity? So I know that there is a hole at 6. It's a hole. And I do know that there is a break at x equal two. So if I look at my graph at the right, you notice that uh, the vertical asymptote is x equal two. So that's non-removable. And then if I were to trace and I go to uh, two, 
No, I go to six. If I go to six, you notice that it's undefined. I just did it right now. That's all. So uh, is the, are they all removable? The answer is no. And the points of discontinuity are D, which is two and six. For number 12, it says, what are the points of discontinuity? So what you're actually looking for is when will this make or when is, what are the x values that make this undefined? So anytime that you have an expression that you need to uh, factor, I would go ahead and factor because that's gonna help you to figure out where it's discontinuous. Uh, you wanna write it in factored form. That's what I wanna say. You have to write it in factored form. Now, what do you notice? Once, you, once again, you have common factors in the numerator and the denominator. So what's gonna make the denominator equal to zero? So x can equal seven and x can equal three. So these are the points of discon discontinuity. Now the question is, is this removable? And the answer is yes, it is removable because you can define it at x equals seven and x equals three. By the way, this is also shows you there's a sign of a whole. So your answer is uh, seven and three. So your answer is B. And if you look at the graph, it looks kind of unusual. It's just a straight line. Uh, and there's no break, so that's that also shows you that that it is removable. Non-removable means that it's, there's a break, so therefore uh, this is removable. So we have to find the horizontal asymptote. That's what it's asking for. It says find the horizontal asymptote of the graph y equals, and then it has x to the sixth plus seven x plus two divided by nine x to the fourth plus x and plus two. So in class, I told you to kind of ignore uh, this part and ignore, ignore this part. And if they're both equal, then you just have to divide. Now, in this case, since the numerator is larger than the denominator, this would, re this would mean there's no horizontal asymptote. For 16, we're matching, uh, we're matching the uh, equation that is given to you. And you notice that we do have vertical asymptotes at x equal 5 and we have another vertical asymptote at x equal negative 5 so it looks like all of them have x equal 5 and x equal negative 5. Now the horizontal asymptote uh, if you multiply x times x that's x squared x times x that's x squared so we have a y equals x squared over x squared so that tells you that the horizontal asymptote is y equals one. So um, obviously this is one, two, three, this would be incorrect. Uh, this is negative, and this appears to be negative one, so the answer to this would be C. So the vertical, the horizontal asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is y equals one, and the vertical asymptote is x equal negative five, and x equals 5. So they both would be x equal negative 5 and x equal 5. It says simplify uh, the rational expression state any, uh, which we have a squared plus 5a minus 14 divided by a minus 2. So you want to you want to factor. So what are the factors of negative 14? So we have uh, a times a that's a squared. So the factors of 14 are 7 and 2, because 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14, but that won't work. So it's a plus 7 and a minus 2. The reason why I picked plus 7, because 7 minus 2 gives you 5. It was, if it was negative 7, it, it would be negative 5. So we have a minus 2. So our restriction is just a equals a equals uh, a equals two, so a can be two. That makes a denominator, so that becomes one. So you're only left with a plus seven. So I think b will be the answer because you have a plus seven, and the restriction is a can be two. Okay, what is a product in simplest form? State any restrictions. So uh, j cannot equal zero, and also k cannot equal zero. I'm gonna write a in factor form. So we have four times two times k to the third power times k to the third power. 
divided by j, j, and we have 2 times j to the third times j to the first times we have 5 times j to the third divided by 9 k to the third power. And you notice which ones are the common factors. We have 2 and we have 2. We have k to the third. We have k to the third. And we have j to the third. And we have j to the third. So all of those are going to become 1. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. k to the third divided by k to the third is 1 j to the third and j to the third is going to become one so four times five is 20 and you have nine j uh, and you have 20 times k to the third so your answer is b and the restrictions are k can be zero and j can be zero so what i did is instead of having k to the third or k to the sixth i broke it up so you can see the common factors and then j to the fourth, I said j to the third times j, so that's you were able to cancel those, those, okay? Okay, 26, we have y equals 1 over x minus 2. And they want to know the domain, and they want to know the range. Well, we know that x will not equal 2. And that's going to make it undefined. So definitely it will not be c, and it won't be a. Now, the horizontal asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, will be y equals zero. So the domain is all numbers except for two. So once again, the domain will not equal two, all numbers except two. And the range is all numbers except zero. So we, we've already marked out A and B. So it's between B and D. And the only one that moves right is D, is all numbers from negative infinity, comma two. And then you should have and all numbers between 2 and positive infinity. The range is from negative infinity up to 0, and it should go from 0 to infinity. Eight. This graph or function is a translation of y equals 4 over x. So we have y equals 4 over x, and I want you to notice that we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 3. And we do have a vertical asymptote of x equals negative 4. So we have y equals 3 and x equals negative 4. So we know that it's going to go up. So now we know it's going to be plus, plus 3. And we know it's going to go left. So it's going to be y is equal to 4 over x, x plus 4, plus 3. So your answer is D. For number 30, it says find the horizontal asymptote of this graph. So you have to look at the degree and you have to ignore all this right here and you ignore all this. So you see you have a common, you have the same degree. So we have y equals negative 2, x to the third divided by 2, x to the third. So they're the same degree. So the horizontal asymptote is that y equals negative 1. So your answer is b.